Hey everyone, a while ago I picked up the new Gargoyles comic, and I also got the second issue. I don't have this, uh, the third issue yet, but the first issue, it was really, really fun to finally be able to have some new Gargoyles content. I was a big fan of Gargoyles back when I was really little. The comics are really, really cool. And one of the really nice things about these is they are extremely faithful to the cartoon. The artwork in here is really nice, and uh, there are a few things I want to talk about. Uh, this first issue, there's not a whole lot of story. This is more just reestablishing all the characters to catch you up to speed on what's going on. Now, if you have only seen the cartoon, there is some weirdness in the comic, although they do kind of sort of explain some of it, but not all of it. Between the original show and these comics... There were other series of uh, Gargoyles comics put out by the company Slave Labor Graphics. Uh, Slave Labor Graphics' comics were a continuation directly after the cartoon, and there was quite a few weird things that happened in those. Brooklyn went into the future, came back to the present, along with a wife, a kid, and an unhatched egg. Yeah, and along with a whole bunch of other weird stuff, that, but that's like the main thing that goes unexplained in this comic and i can totally understand some fans would look at that and be like oh is there an episode i missed or the second issue is where the story starts picking up a couple of stories going on all at once which normally would be kind of confusing but if you're a big gargoyles fan and you know the series is fresh in your mind you know the characters you've read the old comics it's pretty simple to follow uh, what's going on. There's a few new characters uh, tossed in. There's some new stuff going on. But for the most part, it's the same characters you already know and love. Or don't like. I can understand some people probably don't like certain characters in here. And, oh, here's some, like, deep cut. We got Cold Fire. And, um, let's see. Where is it? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Elisa's brother who's a, a panther mutant gargoyle. You know. <laughs> the One of the main running plots of the second issue is he and uh, his wife, Maggie, are going to be having a kid. Oh, she's a mutant, too. Without getting too far into spoiler territory, Thalog, right there, Goliath's evil clone. Yeah, there was a lot of weirdness in the gargoyles cartoon and those comics. But, oh, and that's something else. The, uh, the gargoyle clones from the cartoon, they show up in this. Cool. There's also a lot of old villains coming back. Uh, the Drakens show up. Uh, Dr. Savarius shows up. The gargoyle clones like uh, Thalog, also the other clones that turned good. And then there's also the evil Lexington clone, uh, Brentwood. He shows up. I'm trying to remember if there's anybody else they show. Oh, one of the weird things, the first issue starts off being narrated by Elisa, and then the second one starts off being narrated by Angela. And each time, I thought that it was going to stick with their perspective throughout the comic, but it just kind of drops off in the middle and then goes showing all these other perspectives of other characters, and then kind of shifts back at the end. So far, not a whole lot to go off on, but these are really, really enjoyable comics. The artwork is amazing. There's a lot of variety for the covers. In fact, one of the really nice things in the back of all the issues so far, there, let's see, there's a preview for the next issue, and there's a cover gallery showing all the different gargoyle covers available if you're a collector of variant covers. So that's really cool. Oh yeah, there's also a commercial for a facsimile edition of Gargoyles number one, uh, the Marvel version that came out in the 90s. I don't know for sure. Oh, yeah, and then there's also some previews of Darkwing Duck stuff in here. All right. <laughs> A lot of Darkwing Duck previews. Oh, and then there's uh, an interview with, uh, let's see, Greg Weissman and the artist on the comic in the back of uh, issue two. That's really cool. I definitely would recommend the Gargoyle comics to any Gargoyle fans out there. Like, for all the Gargoyle fans, like the super hardcore fans, this is exactly what they've wanted. And, yeah, this is really, really cool. Now, the only 
like negative I can kind of give about these is the second issue has some layout confusion. Like it's not a typical uh, comic with panels. It's there's a few parts that feel very experimental and are kind of wonky. Let's see. There was one page in particular that was kind of confusing. There's like these weird red things around certain sections, which I thought was supposed to be like, uh, I, I still don't know, actually, but this is like the only time they do something like this. It's kind of weird, but I'm not really sure what exactly they were going for there. The, then it kind of just shifts back to a more standard, uh, comic book layout style. So not a lot of negative things to say about this. The only other negative would be, like, if you don't know Gargoyles at all, and this is the very first thing you're jumping into, you'll probably be lost. Even though the first issue, I think, does a good job of reestablishing the characters and introducing a lot of the concepts and premises of the show and just the uh, franchise as a whole. Uh, I think you really need to go back and watch the original show. And if you're not sure if you'd be into this, then yeah, I definitely recommend watching at least the first couple episodes of the show, the five-part beginning. If if you like that, then yeah, definitely go on watching the rest of the series, track down the old comics, definitely pick up the new comics. I don't know if the old Slave Labor graphics comics will be getting a re-release. I've heard rumors that uh, they will be coming out along with most likely this uh, the old Marvel comic. First published in 1995, so yeah, it's definitely the old Marvel comic. There was also Disney Adventures comics of Gargoyles, and I'll talk about that for a little bit. It's unrelated to this. When I was a kid, I had a uh, special Halloween comic that we cut out of Disney Adventures magazine. This uh, Halloween comic was very strange. The Gargoyles are, are all going uh, to a costume party. They get there, and Xanatos, Fox, their kid, Owen, they're all there, and they're all just totally friendly. And I was very confused because like yeah they by the end of season two they're they kind of have a truce i guess but they're not friendly it doesn't seem like they're the type to hang out together like this at a party i don't know if they would bother collecting the disney adventures magazine or at comics there's a lot of weird comics in those old disney adventure magazines that i don't think ever get reprinted anywhere so yeah that's it for uh, these gargoyle comics really really cool stuff that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.